was your favorite hairstyle in this film? Oh my gosh, of mine or someone else's? Yours. Mine. Oh, um, I tend to like sort of the side part luscious curl thing myself, but um. What was the thing where your hair is like wavy, like it was down, it was like partially permed or something? Do you remember that? You mean in the disco? Yes. Uh, no, that took far too long. Like, that would be my favorite because it's really cool, but every time I think of that hairstyle, I just think of how early I had to get up. But can't complain, Bradley was there early every day getting his hair set in perm rod, so. Oh. Yeah, so well, I was, I, I never wanted to complain too much. One of the great things about the movie, and ties into the hair, is that your character has created this whole look for herself. It's part of like how she's become exactly. who she is. And, and I'm wondering, when you started talking to David about the character and where he wanted you to go, how important was that to him in terms of what it was very important. I mean, David's involved in just about every detail of decision making, down to hairstyles. He's very specific about hair, very specific about clothes. So that was something he he would be sending me pictures. Like we had our first conversation, then he just started like for up until we were shooting. We were sending pictures back and forth of different <laughs> people that we felt influenced the look and the feel mm. of the character. And I would send him YouTube clips of of women from the '70s talking, you know, and so. Yeah, it's very collaborative in that way. And, and David, for some reason, is like up at three o'clock in the morning texting like amazing <laughs> pictures of Daryl Hannah in the 70s. Like he's, he's just never stops, yeah. You have this woman who's pretending to be someone else. Yeah. And you had to play it in a way where she could never have gotten the accent 100% correct. Yes. So how hard was it for you as an actress to be like, okay, I can't get it 100% right? 100% right. Well, it, it, I tend to be a perfectionist, so actually it was sort of freeing. So I just, a lot of people I know who are British who have been over here for a while sort of speak like that, that kind of English, which is kind of American. So I listened mm. to them as well, like what words would translate, what wouldn't. But um, the way that David works and the way he's like creating lines in the moment or restructuring a scene in the moment, um, I couldn't have been perfect if I wanted to because I'm having to like come up with the accent. Only, only Christian. <laughs> he's, he really is. He's so good. I love him. When you're doing those scenes and you're and and he and David wants a little bit of improv or sort of adjusting on set. Sure, sure. Was was that the most frustrating part? Like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to get this right because. No, you you can't you. You can't get caught up in in any frustration. Do you know what I mean? You have to really um, surrender, you know, and and I, I've said this before, you have to lean into his process. If if you try to fight it, it's it's you're not going to actually be able to accomplish the the yeah. scene, you know. You really have to you have to be able to really focus and um, I think it creates a great intensity between the characters, the way that he works. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitVix on Twitter or visit HitVix.com.